Marine Patrol ship spotted the massive Persian Armada sailing towards Attica. The Persians sailed down the coast of Attica and landed at the Bay of Marathon, about 40 kilometers northeast of Athens, on the advice of the exiled Athenian tyrant, Hippias. Athens was swift to react. Under the guidance of Milchiades, the Athenian general with the greatest experience of fighting the Persians, the Athenian army marched quickly to block the two exits from the plain of Marathon and prevent the Persians moving inland. For their glory, and today we have the chance to do the same. Stand firm and never retreat. At the same time, Athens' greatest runner, Phaedipides had been sent to Sparta to request that the Spartan army march to the aid of Athens. Phaedipides arrived during the festival of Carnea, a sacrosanct period of peace, and was informed that the Spartan army could not march to war until the full moon rose. Athens could not expect reinforcement for at least 10 days. The 9,000 Athenians were reinforced by the full muster of 1,000 Hoplites from the small city of Plataea, a gesture which did much to steady the nerves of the Athenians and one unending Athenian gratitude to Plataea. Marathon. The Persian king, Darius, annoyed by the notion of Greek freedom, has come to Greece to bring us to heel. He makes landfall at the field of Marathon. With an invading force which outnumbers the Greek defenders, three to one. Athenians were on high ground, although outnumbered two to one. They did not want to risk attacking the numerically superior Persian army. The mighty Persian cavalry could easily outmaneuver the Greeks and disrupt the phalanx. For approximately five days, the two armies therefore confronted each other across the plain of Marathon in stalemate. The Persians were also reluctant to attack the Greeks uphill. The Persians then learned about the city of Athens being left undefended. The massive Persian cavalry was thus boarded on the ships which set sail to take the city of Athens, while the Athenians remained at Marathon, dealing with the rest of the Persian forces. Figuring out the Persian strategy, the Athenian general ordered the Athenian army to battle station immediately And who is the architect of this mad strategy? A little known Athenian soldier. His men call him Themistocles. To avoid being outflanked by the Persians, the Athenians stretched their center to match that of the Persians. The center was thus thin, and the flanks were thick. This was to encourage a double envelopment of the Persian center. The 
the deadly Persian archers got ready as the Greek lines advanced. started charging with their shields up. A spectacular yet terrifying sight must have been for the Persians as they witnessed 10,000 hoplites in full armor running towards them in an attempt to save Greek freedom. routed the inferior Persian troops on the flanks before turning inwards to surround the Persian center. We need to retreat! Back to the ships! Back to the ships! center broke and fled towards their ships. The Athenians pursued the Persians and managed to capture seven ships, though the majority were able to launch successfully. Herodotus records that 6,400 Persian bodies were counted on the battlefield and it is unknown how many more perished in the swamps. He also reported that the Athenians lost 192 men and the Plataeans 11. In the 
immediate aftermath of the battle. Herodotus says that the Persian fleet sailed around Cape Saunian to attack Athens directly. The Athenians evidently realized that their city was still under threat and marched as quickly as possible back to Athens. Runners were probably dispatched from Marathon to Athens to inform the Athenians of the Greek victory and the approaching Persian fleet. Victory! Those are tales for a different time. 